This video reviews the instructions for the Bravo test. You will also be given written instructions to refer to. The reason for reflux testing is that everyone has a small amount of acid that comes up from the stomach into the esophagus. GERD, or reflux disease, happens when more acid and fluid than normal comes up into the esophagus and causes symptoms. The Bravo capsule can measure how much acid you have coming up from the stomach into the esophagus. The Bravo is a small capsule that is placed in your lower esophagus that senses how much acid you have coming up from your stomach into your esophagus. The capsule sends the information to a receiver which is about the size of a pager. You will need to keep the receiver with you during the test. The test will last either 48 or 96 hours. The receiver will need to be returned to the office at the end of the study. The capsule will fall off after 7 to 10 days and will exit the body when you have a bowel movement. Because the Bravo is measuring acid, you will need to be off of your PPIs such as Nexium, Prilosec, Dexalent, etc. for seven days prior to the study. You will need to be off Pepsid and Zantac for 48 hours prior to the study, and you will need to stop Tums and Mylanta after midnight the night before the study. The Bravo can be placed either in the office or during a sedated endoscopy. If it is placed in the office, then you may have nothing to eat or drink for four hours prior to the test. If it is placed during a sedated endoscopy, then you may have nothing to eat or drink after midnight the night before the test. During the study, it is important to keep the receiver within three feet of you at all times. When you sleep, it is best to keep the receiver under your pillow. If you place it on your nightstand and roll away from your nightstand while you are sleeping, the connection can be lost. You may shower, leaving the receiver outside the shower. If the receiver beeps and the display shows an error message C9, that means the capsule and the receiver are not communicating. Hold the receiver up to your chest for 20 to 30 seconds to re-establish the communication with the capsule. On the diary provided, please write down the time you start and stop eating or drinking, including a.m. or p.m. During the test, you need to write down everything that goes in your mouth except water. You do not need to write down what you ate or drank, only the start and the stop time. Please use the time displayed on the top of the receiver. We also need to know about body position. Please document any time you lie down. This is for any time you are more lying down than upright. If you are in a recliner, use your judgment as to whether you are lying down or upright. You will also need to document the time that you got up. Please write down whether it is a.m. or p.m. When writing down the times on the diary, it is important to use the time displayed on the top of the receiver.
During the test, you may eat and drink normally with a few exceptions. No gum, hard candy, or breath mints. Do not sip on water all day. Just drink a glass of water and be done for a while, as water can neutralize acid. Chew your food thoroughly, as the capsule in the esophagus can give the sensation of food sticking. Some patients will have discomfort in their chest when they swallow. This is normal and should pass when the capsule dislodges. If the pain becomes severe, please call the office. You may continue all of your usual activities during the test, as long as you remember to keep the receiver within three feet of you. You may shower leaving the receiver just outside the shower as the receiver is a computer and cannot get wet. You may continue all of your usual medications except any medication herbal, or home remedy for reflux or heartburn. There are colored buttons on the receiver to indicate when you are having symptoms. Please push the red button if you are having heartburn, the blue button if you are having regurgitation, the yellow button will be assigned to you if you have symptoms of chest pain or cough that we need to track. If you do not have these symptoms, you do not need to push the yellow button. The receiver will automatically shut off when the study is complete. You will need to return the receiver to the office when the study is complete. You must remember to bring the diary when returning the receiver. You may resume your reflux medications when the study is complete. The capsule does have metal, so no MRIs for 30 days to ensure it has passed. If an MRI is needed within the 30 days, please obtain an x-ray to be sure the capsule has passed. In summary, the Bravo test is done off of any reflux medications. You will need to record the start time and stop time of eating or drinking and lying down and getting up on the diary provided. Please use the time displayed on the top of the receiver when completing the diary. The receiver will automatically shut off when the study is complete. You may then restart any reflux medications. Return the receiver and the diary to the office when the study is complete. The capsule will fall off in 7 to 10 days and exit with a bowel movement.